October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and you may have noticed that stores have stocked up on their pink gear, but it's not just the department stores that are going pink. Lucas Parker, son of breast cancer survivor Melissa Parker, pushes for his classmates to go pink as well. Wear pink tomorrow for my mom. She I officially was diagnosed with breast cancer at the end of July in 2016. I found a lump in my breast on June 21st, 2016. You never forget that date. My husband was a huge support. He did anything and everything I needed, um, but then my boys were my focus. So it was important for me to show them that you can be diagnosed with breast cancer, but you can survive. So I still went to all of their games. And I sat there in pain and with drains hanging out of me, but that was my focus, that I had to be better for them. Another breast cancer survivor, Trish Lambert, kept her family in mind on the road to remission. And I immediately thought I was going to die, and then I thought about my kids. And I had to rely totally on them, and um, they were my support and my encouragement. And after my surgery, I was totally unable to do anything because it was such a traumatic surgery, and then I had a negative reaction to anesthesia and pain meds, and you know, I was totally dependent on them, and they're my motivation to get better. Dr. Fiona Denham, breast surgical oncologist at the Goshen Retreat Women's Health Center, provided information on who is most likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer. Statistically speaking, when you look at what is the most common age group for women to be diagnosed with breast cancer, the median age is actually in early 60s, like 60, 62. Um, so that's really kind of the prime population and the most common um, demographic where we see breast cancer diagnoses. It is a very common cancer among women that one in eight women will be affected by breast cancer at some point during their lifetime. And so everyone has a family member or a friend or someone that they know in the community who's been affected by this. That's why October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And it means a little something extra than other months, especially to survivors like Lambert and Parker. Breast Cancer Awareness Month means to me a celebration for people like me who have survived, but also standing in solidarity with other women who are somewhere along the road to um, conquering breast cancer, whatever their stage is. Don't be like me. Don't put it off. Don't say, oh, I don't have a history, so I don't have to worry about this. Um, get yourself screened. I have no family history, so I should, this shouldn't have happened to me, and it did. For Globe News, I'm Katie Spore.